But tonight it's all about Loris and the Lions heading into the bye two and two and they join us now live in the studio after this big on her own Mark Haggard with Jamie Schneider and the winning Lions. Mark. The Loris Lions have turned the ABC 15 newsroom into the Lions Den. Welcome fellas. Yeah. And joining me is head coach Jamie Snyder. Coach, uh, off to a little bit of a slow start this season and in this game. You trailed 6-0 early, but the defense came alive. Uh, absolutely. They did a great job. Uh, one long drive early, and then after that, they kind of did a great job of containing them. Uh, real proud of how hard they played and, and how hard we competed for four quarters, which is what it took. And LaVon Stevenson, your quarterback, filling in for Clay Faircloth, who's injured, but uh, you got a little bye week, and then a week after that, maybe he'll be back on the field. Absolutely. We have a lot of work still to do, and we're happy to have the bye week to improve because we have Carolina Forest two weeks from tonight, and that'll be a tough task. Now, the offensive line push, I know that's a big thing with you, being a big O-line man yeah. uh, and an offensive coordinator in the past at Coastal Carolina, but Tyreek Williams really followed his blocking well. He, he just ran for some real tough yards tonight and scored two touchdowns. Absolutely. He did a great job, but so did Tevin Livingston. Kind of challenged him before the game with, uh, with a few comments, and they responded well. Uh, we got to hold on the football better. We do have to do that, but real proud of their effort and how hard they ran and how hard the OL played and Travis Walters, our tight end. Well, I got to tell you, Green Sea Floyd's uh, having one of the better teams they've had. And I know you look upon the scoreboard, but hey, they took you into the fourth quarter. Oh, absolutely. I, I told Coach Sullivan before the game, I thought this is the hardest I've ever seen a Green Sea team play, and they lived up to that. I'm just real happy for our kids and the way they were able to play tonight. But they have not defeated you in one decade now. And let's not talk football now. Let's hear from the cheerleaders. What do you say, Coach? Absolutely. All right. Ladies, do you have a cheer for us? Yeah. yeah. Well, let's go. Lions, who's the best? L-H-S. Lions, Lions, who's the best? L-H-S. Lions, Lions, who's the best? Coach, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that uh, Stevenson threw that nice long touchdown pass, too. Talk about that one. Absolutely. Xavier Bellamy's been wanting one all year. He finally got his opportunity, and he took it to the house. And one of the things Coach Harris, our offensive coordinator, said to him, where's that speed been? Well, so, great run after the catch, too. That's what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. We haven't seen that from him, so we're real proud of him and what he was able to do. And that kind of got momentum going in our way, which was a big help. All right. With all the guys we've mentioned, we haven't mentioned one guy. And who does the HTC game ball go to? HTC game ball goes to Andrew Wilson. Um, he had one cause fumble, uh, four tackles for loss, 10 tackles, and one sack. Pretty good night. That is a great night, and that fumble turned into a touchdown. Absolutely. HTC game ball, where is it? It's going to float out of the sky. Oh, wow. Ooh, you've got good hands for a 275-pound junior. Man. Talk about this night and how the defense really came out. I saw number four come in through the edge, and I saw number 90 and number 92. This defense was swarming tonight. Yes, sir, it was. It was a, overall a good team. We played together as a team. You know, we came out and got this dub. It was just a good experience to go out here and play, have a nice time, and win. That wing tee, that double wing or whatever it is they run, it's just so confusing. How do you keep track of the ball carrier? It's pretty tough. Just do your job. Do your job. Do your job. I, I heard Coach talk about a gap, minding your gaps. Gap integrity. Gap integrity. What's gap integrity? Everybody has their gap that we have to shoot to okay. and get there. We well, that's really, really important because you finally had your gap integrity by the fourth quarter and you shut them down. Congratulations, Andrew Wilson with the HTC game ball. And, Coach, you've got a bye week coming up. Yes. I think you'll beat bye. I but then, so. but then you've got the Carolina Forest Panthers, an undefeated team. Absolutely. Fundamentals, fundamentals, fundamentals for us. That's what we're striving to get better at. We have two weeks to get ready for that, and then the, re and then the region play comes right after that. So uh, we have to go to work. You've got a pretty nasty schedule, though. Yeah, some have said that. But, you know, it, it, you know what you want to do is play good teams and get your team ready for region play, and that's what we've tried to do. The Loris Lions. Not only did they win the game tonight, they won the Spirit Award. And we'll hear more about that later in the show. But for now, 
the Loras cheerleaders and the football team enjoyed their sonic victory meal. Did you did you have enough to eat? Absolutely. Everybody had enough to eat? Enjoyed their victory meal and they're in the end zone, guys. Hey, turn let's around. Hear it. All right, congratulations to Loris. All around winners tonight on the football field and also the hardware, which regarding uh, the uh, Spirit Award. Of course, we'll get to that a little bit later on in the show.